In this vlog, join me as I show you, first time on camera, PPF in a Jaguar I pace Hey there guys, Alan from AM Details here. We bring you car care and detail related videos. If you like them, then please do subscribe and smash that bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video. And as I say in this one, I've been doing some PPF jobs off camera, but I decided I had this eye pace in. Let's get the camera and see what it's like trying to film me applying PPF on cars. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. Start the day. Morning. Flash. It's Monday, the 29th of August. I've picked up the camera. Ooh. And to start the week, we have this iPace N4 front end PPF. That's right, PPF. I've got a lot to update you on. So in the background, you can see it. We have the big plotter. So here we can cut the custom Expel kits here. That's right, we are an Expel dealer here for Elgin and the Highlands. Super excited to be bringing that to our customer base up here. It has been an interesting journey. It's why I've been a little quiet on the vlogs, as you can guess. It's been mental in here, plus juggling, doing the training, the traveling, and everything else I've been up to. I'll update you later, maybe even in a different vlog, but this one hopefully we're gonna focus on this week with the eye pace and how we get on. Time is now 10 past three. I know, two seconds of wash, Alan. What kind of scenester vlog is this? Yeah, real life one. So. The vehicle's inside, I managed to get it washed, done, and in in a pretty good time, actually. Then we've had a couple of customers coming in, high five to them, and then I've been doing this. This is a 36 inch roll, and this is the front bumper. So I've still got to weed it, which means coming in here and picking out all the bits, and then eventually you will see a breakdown of the front bumper that hopefully, you know, maybe I'll do one of those TikToks. And go, no, of course I won't do that, because you can't really tell the film is on once it's on. It's not a color change in vinyl. And I am about to do the whole caveat thing of, as much as I'm gonna talk you through this, I am not a PPF trainer. I just wanted to get back in the vlogs. This is what's in and I want to show you what's going on here and the systems we are using because this bay is actually not a PPF bay. As you guys know, we are Rupes Authorized Training Center and a Bigfoot Car Detailing Center. Do you know I can train you on the Rupes system officially? Check it out. December is our last class for this year. Anyway, what we figured out at Rupes, massive, massive research is the black walls are the best for creating contrast when seeing defects. So in fact, having black walls makes my car look worse when customers turn up. Or does it make it look better because I can see the defects and I've took them all out? Comment down below. <laughs> and my pal, I've just got table tennis, Terry. In the comments, you can name the table tennis table, and I will forever call on that in the vlog. I'll maybe create a poll as well, see how that turns out. Back to the vlog. Okay, so I've got to weed this, prep it, ready to go in the front bumper, but I'm not sure I'm going to do this first. Expel teaching and philosophy is top of the car down. So I actually have to do the frunk, do they call it a frunk on a Jag? The front trunk, front boot, the fruit. Ooh, <laughs> the fruit, the foot, I don't know. Anyway, I need to do the front bit first because then I'll get all this covered in slip and all that jazz. And uh, then I'll have my dry edges. Then I'll probably go arch, arch, and front. I'm gonna take you guys with me, talk you through it as much as I can. Remember, I am not a PPF trainer. I have been on a quite intense four day Expel course. Epic course, thank you Expel. It's incredible what I learned on those days. I've then been away, I've done the wife's car, I've done a few friends' cars, and I've also done one paid job for uh, intricate areas and stuff. It's a beautiful BMW uh, M235i, where I did a single stage ceramic coatings, and it also got a wear and tear kit and um, gloss black. So I'll maybe show you a couple of images of that as I'm talking. The thing was beautiful. And you might see me doing stupid things like two squeegees, one in the hand, one in the mouth. I don't know why. Still getting used to this PPF lark. Other things we have to do is completely clean this bay. So it was quite a clean bay before, I feel. But of course, we've got to open this great big whirl shutter to bring it in. So we brought it in, uh, got the car done, blow dried it, bad idea, dust goes everywhere, but don't worry. Then we got it on the rear ramp. Once I did that, I then have this guy full of DI water and I went around the front bay just 
spray water in the air and then hopefully that caught as much dust as possible and it landed down on the floor. We then did a full mop of this bay as best we could. So hopefully the majority of dust that's in the air I've got it bulked down. Now I'm going to do the same before the PPF goes in the car to catch any residual dust that there is. But hopefully um, we've nailed that part from having the door open, car in, door closed. And that's it. So it's not a perfect PPF bay but you guys know this bay. We're doing the best we can to keep it clean. Uh, eliminate dust and I'm wearing all the right clothing. The tests have gone well, the mistakes on the cars I understand what they were and um, any big chunks of dirt I got under the film on the wife's car I know exactly why it was. I was messing around and then touching things so if I be strict and walk you guys through it hopefully this will turn out to be a nice vlog and we see this beautiful eyepiece get front end PPF, wing mirrors, pillars then an AM Details hybrid protection detail. So I've already got this one pretty flush. This one's flush, just got this one to do. Uh, check and prep all under here, then I'm pretty happy with the front bumper prep. Let's talk yesterday. Jaguar bonnet, not done. Or frunk or whatever we're calling it. So as you've seen from the video, I attempted to get this small section from a board to the car film went together slap. We'll learn. So from that point, I knew I was gonna to need to plot a new piece of film. So I thought, well, let's test the bigger area first. Uh, it's a quite unique shape bonnet to see how I get on with it. And what I mean by test it, not the actual fitting of the bonnet, pretty confident in my installation skills on the bonnet, it was the moving it from where I got it onto the car. It didn't go so well either. So basically I need a lot more practice on getting film, large pieces of film from wherever I'm getting them to, onto the car. So I gotta practice either back rolling or moving them from the board to the car because right now I can get it here and I was really confident with the work that was done but we'd got dirt underneath it because of how I'd moved it over and it was just really sloppy but I wanted to get over here so I could test to see what was it going to be like um, getting the film into these edges making the film mate nicely with this because this is going to be two um, edges that are not going to touch together we're going to be just off um, the edge you know a couple of mil off each of these edges when these two pieces join so I just wanted to see what was that that was like plus what the tuck was going to be like um, at this end. And let me explain that. The pre-cut plans are fantastic. I can actually pre-cut a tuck. So there'll be a little marker that I take to the edge here and then I can tuck that way and tuck that way to give this a really nice finish. Or you could just finish the whole time um, just to the edge. Problem we got is, see this small piece? It's on top. There's two pieces there, see that? So if I was to try and put a tuck here, it would tuck onto that and then I've had to have cut here. So. Uh, we're going to tuck the main piece, but not tuck the air vent piece. And I wanted to try something with this car also, um, for the customer, to try and make the charging port finish um, a little more seamless. So in the original plot, which uh, is what I plotted, um, Expel would have had this finish again a couple of mil off the edge, and then they would have a cover on here finishing just a couple of mil off the edge, which would be perfectly fine totally within Expel's tolerance, and my customer would probably have been happy. But I wanted to try and see, can I make that a little bit more seamless? Can I tuck the fuel cap, even though it's electric charging port cap, and can I tuck into the recess in the arch? 
So basically, if I got the skill set to wrap around here, to hide the film behind here enough that it's always going to stay, and then also, um, you know, that's going to be quite a high stress point. Can I get the whole film here and then tuck it into here so it's a nice, clean install? So, as I had to plot anyway, and I've only got a 60 roll, there was lots of dead space in this plot. I'll show you what that means on the computer. Um, so I did it. I've got it here and I'm going to have a go today. That way if it all goes horribly wrong and I can't do it, I've still got the original way Expel want it done and I can pop it on. So yeah, this isn't going to be one of those, oh look at all this dead film I took off, yay, Poing! type videos. No, this is, uh, yeah, look how much money I've just rolled up and put on the floor. It didn't even make it to the car. Yeah. Ah, I can't even hoot a shot today. All right, so the pieces are plotted. It's time to clean down this bay, get it prepped, and start putting some more film on. It's all right, I think the card got full on that one, but we've got the bonnet stuff on. Let's go have a look. Bonnet's on, I'm just waiting on my edges drying and we will get those tucked. And then I'm waiting on that edge drying and I'll tuck that too. So whilst we're waiting, let's do the arch. So I've got the face off the charging point. I've put some gel in here. I'm just trying to stop any rubbish coming out and some gel up here. So I gotta slip this up, pick this up, onto there. This is the vlog of lies, where I tell you I'm gonna do something and I don't. Wraps on. Yeah, sorry about that, I never pushed record. I don't know why, I think Eon came in and uh, he was helping me out and we just cracked on and I've got this laid down and uh, I'm quite excited. It's come down well, I've managed to tuck it in, do the invisible thing. So in it goes, I've circled a couple of water spots because I wanna watch them, see how they are tomorrow. Um, and it is looking tidy. I've also wrapped all the edges and heat locked them so they are down So I can have a look at them tomorrow. So it's just gonna be a quick wipe of all this Tidy up the chaos and front bumper tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's worked, but I'm gonna try and download this And if I have then you've already watched it That's what that was. No, in fact, here it comes now.
bumper day, so I'm just prepping all the stuff uh, for the front bumper, just giving this a final wipe down, getting ready for putting this bad boy on. Now in training, I was roughly two hours putting a front bumper on and tacking it, so fingers crossed we do not buy to this one. It is quite a big one though, and quite a lot of elements going on. Also yesterday, I had some circled areas uh, here looking at uh, some little water bubbles and they are gone. Ta da! So that was me just monitoring what rate in my unit does water evaporate if I get a little bit under the film. So it's super cool that when I have these multi day events, it'll be nice. Now it completely depends on the car, the film, the weather, etc. But uh, sometimes it can take up to two weeks for those things to come out. But it's cool to see in this shed, they're coming out quite fast. gonna be the worst welcome back Alan vlog ever. It's not easy filming PPF. Over time, I learned uh, what I needed to film to try and make machine polishing a bit more entertaining for you guys as well as informative. But it turns out PPF's not easy. I've got all these extra lights and then the angle I'm looking for, I'm gonna have to get, I don't know, a new tripod and get the height built in. Uh, so I'm not in the way or... Um, Do I become one of those GoPro on the head? Hello, filming uh, YouTube detailers for you. We'll find out, I'll see how I can make this PPS stuff uh, interesting for you and see how you can come along with me on the journey. So tomorrow it's gonna be some extra little bits to finish off the front bumper, that grill's gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. Then the pillars, rebuild the cap, and then this is actually getting an AMD Details protection detail as well. So day three on the job done. Realistically, it has been a eight hour first shift and then two four hour shifts I've been doing paperwork in the morning. So for most details, this is probably a second day. So I'm quite happy as a you know young PPF detailer where I've got in these two days.
It's Thursday, and as you can see, prepped the pillars, whoop, and the wing mirrors. Never done wing mirrors before. Gonna be interesting. Philosophy should be the same, and customer is also having the A pillars done, so it's gonna be interesting tucking that into here. So I prepped both sides. I just want to hand polish in here, make sure we're gonna get a really good bond, and stick that on. I know predominantly this is a I paste. PPF type vlog, but I just want to give you guys a quick update. There's some new people coming on board. Hello, Australia. I'll update you in another vlog on that one, or if it's all gone live by the time this drops, have a look down below in the description if you're in Australia, you might be able to get AMD Tills range. PPF, done. Headlights, uh, headlights, wing mirrors are on. That's difficult, getting this little thing to join, but uh, I think I've got the join pretty good. I had to sacrifice some alignment here to get that join good. But it's in and the A pillar is in. So it's time for a very quick dry down and now it's the AM protection. Because I could just do the PPF, you know, heat check, seal it, do all the stuff and send it out and the rest of the car has nothing on it. But we allow in our pricing for PPF prep work. So basically we charge a customer for our protection detail. That way we're gonna wash, decontaminate the car ready for PPF. But then once it's done, if they're just wanting the PPF work, then it means we're gonna give their paintwork a quick lift with glaze. Um, or depending on the vehicle, it might get some Uno Protect if they're choosing a Rupes option. And then we'll either put hybrid on top of that or a wax or basically whatever the customer wants. This one's gone for hybrid, so I'm going to quickly whiz around this with glaze, then it's hybrid. But before I do that, I'm just marking out a little bit of safety. That's where you've got your PPF up to, Al, and I've done it on the other side. So when I'm quickly whizzing around this, I don't just go blab and hit the PPF. And of course, I gotta tidy up this mess. So uh, it's the only time I would say use a squeegee blade. Ah, and I'll clean down my PPF board. Stick it back over there. Okay, heat locking done. It's time to protect the paint. The people ask us for hybrid, how are we doing it? So we have our hybrid sealant here and our application cloth. I'm gonna go, spritz, spritz, job done. What door looks better, this one? I'm gonna wipe it over the door, throw this top section. Just like that. You can see the film is on the car. Second cloth. Buff it off. Flip the cloth. And there we go. And I'm going to do the rest of the door and then just check it at the end. So I've been going around this door, um, 
And I want to show you this at the summit. Can you guys see that little ching 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 ching? So hybrid sometimes sticks, you can see around but the door handle and get stuck on there. There's a couple things you do. First one, leave it. Let it do what it's doing, humidity of the day and all that sort of stuff. And you can just come back later and buff it away. Or if I go one way, at least it'll leave a shim. Just leaving still a little bit of a shim. See that if I go up and down, it's leaving it that way. So you can leave it for a little bit and buff it off. Or you can add some more. So you're in a rush, you're at the customers, you can't wait. Cloth, quick sprit to water, into the car. So you can just, can you just see this shim? That bit of water. Reactivate it. Flip and buff. I'll go up and down so we'd get a left and right shim if there was one. The shim would be going left and right. The shim would be going up and down. Lovely. It's Saturday. Customer collection day and yes, I know. But Alan, we didn't see you dress the tires. Put the car back down. Do the white. I know. I know. But it's finished. It's done. It's collection day. I'm tired. Crohn's sucks. But let's have a look. front end on the iPace and my first kind of paid customer front end vehicle done with Expel. Trying to get back on the vlogs, let me know what you think. I've not been feeling great at the moment with Crohn's. Funny enough, it's nearly a year since my operation. Wow, am I tired. Should we do a GoFundMe? <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, it's looking super sweet. Let me give you a little up closer look. So here we have it. It's got the Expel on the front, tucked on this edge sitting just off the edge on the leading edge. It's pretty cool, isn't it? The gloss blacks are all PPF at the full front end. Come on, focus, uh, so you can just see the edge there. You can also see there's these bits. This is the stone chipping that was in here before a uh, second hand part. There's also, if you can see it, a random, see it just coming off the um, bumper here? So the customer had a scuff just in here and it's hit the blacks as well. It just comes in here, but look how well the film has hidden that from a foot back. Crazy. Whiz past my big smudgy handprint and the arches have been done, lowers, wing mirrors, and the customer also specced the A pillars. So been a decent bit of work for me and learning on this one and it has been a lot of fun. See, near invisible, but it's not. There it is. And there it is. Then it's been topped with AM Hybrid all over as it's kind of like our protection detail plus PPF on the front end. Good friend of mine, I'm hoping you're gonna love this one, Al. I'm excited to show the YouTubers who are watching right now. What do we think? Down below in the comments, let me know. Am I any good at filming PPF? Is there other shots you'd like to know? And what else could I show you about PPF on my journey here at AM Details, now applying X spell. If you like this video, then please do subscribe. Smash the bell so you get a notification after we drop the video. Plus, uh, over here or over here, I can't remember. We two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.